Hey guys, uh, welcome to the third episode of Monday Sunday. A little backstory regarding this build. Uh, I was playing in the phone, and I uh, I played Alakir, and then uh, I I was able to create a combo with uh, what do I call it with the Maca golden macaw, uh, golden selfless hero, and golden kaboombot, and the golden baron. So it's like a a wild card of uh, of death rattles. Uh, so when I saw the uh, the Alakir in the lineup, I decided to to try and recreate uh, recreate that scenario. And sadly, I wasn't able to recreate the scenario. But uh, I realized that there's a big potential in putting the Macaw as the as the leftmost uh, leftmost minion with this hero. So I tried to force the Macaw build, and I think since this is quite a wacky build. I decided to make it as an episode for Fun Day Sunday. Enjoy! Alright, so... Uh, I decided to go with... Uh, with the mummy because of uh, the reward. And if you pair it with another, another minion, uh, early game it's quite powerful. So here I leveled up and then I I freeze because of the mostly because of the sentimental, not because of the selfless hero. Uh, yeah, it's a draw because of well, because of the reborn. Here I can get the sentimental, but. Uh, it's, it is just a pack eater, so I'll just get the selfless hero. Yeah, I, I, I am planning to get the selfless hero later once we get the Macaw, but uh, since we didn't get any good tier 2 hero, so I'll just get the selfless hero anyway. Uh, most, of, most of his minions are <clears throat> has 3 health, so... Nice, it's a draw. <laughs> I was expecting to lose there because of the extra one health. I don't like our rolls. Most of them are one star, even though we are already at tavern two. So just the kaboom bot. At least we have the selfless hero and the kaboom bot. So once we get the macaw, we have uh, the two uh, two components. But for now, maybe I'll go for the uh, Micro Machine because uh, it is a growing hero. Okay. Ooh. He has a big, uh, big weaver. Okay, I think uh, we won because the uh, because the weaver attacked uh, our biggest minion. What kind of role is this? <laughs> I'll just get the micro, oh, micro mummy bear. You saw that roll, right? Even though there are two, two, two star, but uh, it's a, uh, it's a pair, but they're pogos. I'm not sure if we can go pogos. There's a Jandis, so I can try and deny the pogos, but I think just keeping two is not enough. Uh, for us to survive. <laughs> hmm. There's a potential that we will win because of the health he has. Okay. Okay. So it's a win. <clears throat> not a big and uh, not a big damage win, but as long as we still keep our health. Uh, another bad pair. Ghoul. A ghoul is there's a uh, it, we're up against a George. A ghoul is a good counter, but 
it's too early. Ooh, a triple. Uh, I would like that triple, but only for a Tavern 5 Discover. So maybe I'll, I'll just get the Kraken Cyclone. And actually, I can just keep it in my hand and not play it. So that we will not burn any gold. Now we are still at 40 health anyway. I'll just freeze for the triple. And. Okay. Let's just hit this one, this one to all. But I think uh, it was a significant plus one plus one and another plus one plus one. So yeah, it's really significant because uh, it's above our break point. So yeah. Our biggest uh, biggest attacking minion is just 4 and because of the plus 2 plus 2 both war leader has 5 health so yeah we lost there but luckily we just had 2 war leaders remaining so now I'm going to level up and try and discover a good five, uh, tavern 5 minion uh, uh, maybe a little rag Yeah, because it is scaling. Uh, with with Lil Rag, we can give a plus three plus three to a minion when we play the Crackling Cyclone. Yeah, I'll put the Crackling Cyclone here because our, the leftmost minion will get a Divine Shield Taunt and Wind Fury. So uh, it's not uh, it is not wise to put the Crackling Cyclone at the leftmost. As the last mo uh, leftmost minion, because it will just gain a taunt, which is a really wasted buff. Okay, we got the first attack, but yeah, it has eight health, so it's not enough to kill. It. Ooh, nice! The uh, the divine shield went to our taunting. So it's actually a pretty good attack. We just dealt 6 damage, but oh, the important thing is we still have 33 health. And we just transitioned to uh, to Tavern 4, so it was actually like oof, another triple. Trip. I was about to say that it was actually a, our weak round, but, uh, but because of the win, we were able to dodge a, a small bullet. Come on, give me some another another tavern five. Mm, nah, Nomi is it's not. Uh, I don't think Nomi is good because we are not planning to go elemental, but <laughs> our draws are kind of going elementals. But <laughs> hopefully, we can get a Makah soon. Mm. Yeah, I'll put this one here so that it can uh, it can do the random splash damage or what do you call it? The mini splash damage. And woo, what a roll! We have the Selfless Hero pair and the Makan. Oh please work. Okay, come on. Ah, nice, we attack first. Oh, nice. It was able to take up a shield. Nice. Oh, actually not nice because a token uh, a token broke the divine shield. Hey, okay. <laughs> that was a helpful rule. Okay, it's a tie. I think I was favored there to win. Ooh, I was wrong. I was actually favored to lose. And the tie is the lowest <laughs> uh, lowest chance. Hmm. I don't want another uh, another death run. Uh, the module is good for the uh, for the micro mommy. 
what I like about the Micro Mummy is since it is uh, it is reborn, it is not counted as a death rattle, so it is safe to play the death uh, the Micro Mummy here. So I'll play this for some gold and also uh, some mini buff from the golden uh, from the little rag. I'll s nah, I'll sell micro the micro machine later. I was actually planning to buy this elemental <clears throat> for additional buff, but uh, it is 11.6, so it's quite big rather than getting additional 3. Oh, one, two, oh no, additional, uh, yeah, additional 3, a uh, plus 3 plus 3 from this elemental. I'll just r use the last gold for roll, and nothing good, so let's move on. Ooh, he has two Pogos, but it is still at 20-ish. So, I just hope he, she will not get any any brand. Avenge me. Ooh, nice. The Maka got the brush. Nice. I think we still lost, but we don't have enough to... Oh wait 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 wait! Is this a tie? Nice. I thought I thought we will uh, we would lose there. Yeah, there's a big chance to lose. Yeah. Let's go tavern five. Well, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of health. We need to to search for the Baron. Ooh, the Maka pair. I think it's time to let go of the micro machine. Okay, I'll just leave it at, as it is. Hopefully, we will not <clears throat> we will not get a lot of damage uh, from Chanvala. Oh wait, her name? Uh, I mean, its name has two A's, so I think it's pronounced Chenbala. I'm not sure, but that's my take on how to read its name. Oh no, the Banshi was popped by the uh, like a mini, mini splash damage. Mm. Yeah, I think... Uh, that elemental, even though it will attack left or right, we still lost because of the small health of the wildfire. Now let's just look for... Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep this for the buff. I can actually buff the macaw because we will keep it leftmost. So it will have a divine shield taunt. Uh, wind fear anyway, so we'll just we'll just buff. Mm. Ah, it's a triple, and we have two other beasts. Actually, we can. Like where you're going with this. Oh, we can go Goldrin. Goldrin. <laughs> nice, a Goldrin. Uh. <laughs> with the golden maka, it can attack twice. So it's a plus twenty, plus twenty, guaranteed. Uh, let's let's ditch the uh, the selfless hero for some beasts. Uh, get the Hydra first. It's a plus twenty plus twenty, so it's gonna be a 22, 24 Hydra after the Maka attacks twice. As long as it can attack twice. Come on, let me attack first. No, go left. Oh, what? Oh. Both both attack went to the Maka and we have another another taunted minion. He, he really dodged a, a big one there. You're good at this. It's, a, it's in it's an 87 percent chance for lethal. The the twelve percent I think is for him to uh, for him to attack 
that scenario. Yeah. Come on. We need to get a Baron. Where's the Baron? Ooh, there's the Baron. Mm. Yeah, we can we can put the iron hide. I don't want to sell the little, little rag yet. Uh, maybe you can let go of the either the micro mummy or the little rag. Yeah, I guess I, I will not use any elementals. Uh, I I'm thinking that we need the second uh, second taunt for that certain scenario. We are up against a George, and I think it's already turn twelve, so. Almost all of his minions are already Divine Shield. Mm. These are a lot of poisonous minions. Attack someone is not good. Oh, it went to the poison bin. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, been nice. Nice. It, the Hydra attack in non poison minion. Okay. Nice, we won. Because of it, but I think our on our next encounter, uh, George is going to be uh, really hard to beat because he will have additional poison minions and additional divine shields. So I guess he he will be investing on more divine shields. So uh, he will get one each, uh, additional one each round. So third macaw, I think. It's okay to get a third, uh, a fourth Maka. Uh, Hydra, second Hydra. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> but with this, I need to let go of the of the Micro Mummy. Yeah, I think I can let go of the Micro Mummy and then we can try and find a ghoul for George later. Okay. It's time to let go for that. Because we need to play the Macaw and the second Hydra. And we'll try and start looking. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to burn two gold. Yeah. Because we need seven minions so that we can try and get the first attack. Uh, though I can play two barons, but it my lineup would be weaker, and we are up against a no, we are up against a Deathwing. Hmm. Hmm, he has no poison. Nice move. <laughs> so that's plus four, plus forty. Another plus 20! Ah, nice! Kill 3! And this is a really big uh, gold drain. Okay. He guaranteed me. <clears throat> so we are now up to top four. <laughs> this this build is uh, is kind of OP, but the weakness I can see here is either a zap or him attacking first. But now we can get a ghoul. Oh yeah, th there's the whirlwind tempest, but. Uh, it's uh, I cannot see it using it now because the George is going for poison, so the Macaw will just die when it doesn't have any uh, any divine shield. So it's better to have this the second non golden Macaw. Uh, hopefully we can we can golden uh, we can triple the second Macaw, but for now having the second Macaw is better than to have the whirlwind tempest. Oh no, let me attack first. Oh! Oh! Okay. 
We don't have enough damage. No. Are we dead? No, we're down seven, but that was a big blow. And it is it was up against a ghost. I wasn't expecting his lineup to to have big uh big crackling cyclones. Damn. Better hire a recruit while you want to One last for a ghoul. No, one last. Uh, we can do one last for a ghoul. Ah, no chance for a ghoul. And there's no taunt. We need a second taunt. There's the one too. But it is already too late. We can buy the module, but but it would be we can buy the module, but we would play six minions. And then if he is six minion oh if we are six minions, uh it can attack first. No. It would be a a disadvantage for us if we play six minions because they would uh george will get the guaranteed first attack so my only chance here is a 50 uh, i better go with a 50 50 wherein i will attack first or else it's gg come on let me attack first let me attack first no we don't have enough damage and yeah, as you can see, uh, if we attacked first, we could have killed the uh, the Amalgadon, and uh, the Hydras could have a value attack by breaking uh, divine shields. And then, as you can see, we just we just lost by one minion. And if we did not lose to that uh, to that ghost, we we could have another round looking for a ghoul. And I guess that's it for this build. It's fun though. <laughs>